J Benz, the light to Huri Ja. Now, in this video right here, we're going to talk about how to identify when a person is in hell. Now, when I say hell, don't confuse hell with what the religious person conceive, hell, conceives hell to be. Don't confuse what I, when I say hell with some place you go to that's got some fire or some shit, whatever, whatever, and all the different stuff. When I say hell, I simply mean a lower state of existence, a lower state of being that is all mental, that is all within, because understand that all is truly within yourself and everything you see outside of yourself is simply a projection of that which is within you. You feel me? The true world, the real world is that which is within. And this world that you see outside of you is simply the physical expression of the real world that within. You feel me? Now, how to identify when a person is in hell? If you want to identify if a person is in hell, simply what you must do is a couple different things. First, you gotta come to you gotta come to an understanding that if a person is in hell, then that means that they are vibrating at a certain level that is putting them into a prison, where they are holding themselves inside of a prison. If you're in hell, mentally, you know what I'm saying on a spiritual level, then that means that you are in some type of prison. You're in some type of prison cell within yourself that you are staying within the confines in. And when your spirit tries to branch out, your spirit tries to branch out naturally and get out of that confines like a like a mouse stuck stuck in a mouse trap when a mouse is stuck in a mouse trap naturally it's gonna fight to get out of that mouse trap you feel what i'm saying so your spirit naturally is going to resist this prison resist this and try to come out of it try to get out of it somehow some way but you must understand that if you with you with your habits, your conditioning, with your thought forms, with the way that you think, you keep your spirit in this prison cell. And this is what causes this hellish like state for yourself, this hellish like state in your mind. For example, if a person comes to you and says, and says, and look and sees you doing something that they would classify as weird or out of the ordinary or whatever, and then they say, damn, you gotta, you can't, you can't be doing that. You have to stay within the norms. You have to follow the social norms. You have to conform to the norms. You have to do all this different stuff. Understand the fact that they're using that vocabulary and the fact that they believe these things, that they are thinking these, this is, this is the way that they truly think that you need to conform and you need to, you need to conform and you need to follow these so-called social norms, these so, these so, these certain rules, laws, and regulations that that are unwritten, unwritten laws, rules, and regulations that are made by other people, made by a certain amount of people, society as a whole. Understand that this way of thinking is a prison cell. That's a prison cell that this person finds themselves in. And this person being within this prison cell within their own mind, they are going to express this same mentality and this same way of thinking onto their environment, onto other people. Because if you have whatever certain, whatever certain, whatever thought forms, whatever way of thinking that you have, way of being, you justify it in some type of way. That's what, that's the nature of the mind. The nature of the mind, when you understand the laws of the universe, meaning specifically the law of polarity and duality and whatnot, is that when it comes to the mind, when it comes to things, there is, there is always a right and a wrong answer. Everything is right and wrong at the same time. Everything is light and dark at the same time. The argument can be made about anything. You feel me? An argument can be made about literally anything. You know? So you can convince yourself of anything literally. You can convince yourself of literally anything. This is the power of belief. The power of your, your ability to convince your mind your subconscious that a certain reality is true you feel me so if you see a person living like this and thinking like this then you know that they that's how you identify one type of person that's in a hellish like state another way to identify a person who's in a hellish like state who is living in hell is to look at their habits look at the way that they're living now like i said a person living in hell is a person living in a mental prison. A person living in a mental prison that they're probably not even aware that they're in. You know, they don't they don't understand the confines of this mental prison. You know, this mental prison can look like 
their home, their closing house. This mental prison could look like a nice car that they that they drive every single day. This mental prison could could be anything, literally. This mental prison could be something that they were once passionate about, but they're not passionate about anymore. You feel me? So another way to identify a person living in a hellish like state is to observe their habits, observe how they live in, observe their overall temperament and their attitude. If you see a person, they always got they always have this angry, this angry, just miserable, depressive type of attitude and temperament about themselves. They always they always just confirming, they always saying, oh, how they so depressed, how they so anxious, how they so sad all the time. And then you observe their you observe their habits, you observe their actions, you observe what they do on a daily basis. And you see this person is just laying up in the bed every single day. Not, not really moving at all. You see this person is eating McDevils, eating pop poison chicken sandwiches every day. You see this person not working out. You see this person just living a lifestyle that is counterintuitive to their health. Then this is how you know that this person is living in a hellish life state. This is how you identify this. Because understand that when you are in this hellish life state, when you are in this mental prison, Your actions, your thought, the three aspects to us as beings, when it comes to all beings, is your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? And how do you act? So when you see a person in this hellish like state, in this mental prison, understand that this prison is made up of these three aspects. These three aspects all play a key role. A hellish, a person living in hell has hellish like thoughts. They have thoughts that are counterintuitive and counterproductive to them, to themselves and to their, to their mentality. You know, like the person who thinks, oh, you have to conform. You have to listen to the social norms. That's, a, that's an example of hellish thought forms. You feel me? And then talking about feeling. Feeling is another wall to this prison, the triangle, you feel me? The pyramid, I guess you could say. The way that they feel. A person is always talking about how they're depressed and how they're anxious and all this different stuff, right? But then you look at their actions. This person's always laying up in the bed. They always eat a McDevils. They're always eating pop poison. They always, they never working out. They always watching horror movies. They're always watching drama. They're always watching gossip. They never... They never listen in or watching anything that really stop or doing anything that puts power into them. They're doing things which just stimulate certain negative emotions and feelings. You feel me? Because a lot of us, most of us as people, we're strongly motivated by our feelings. How we feel is one of the biggest motivators to the actions that we do. If you don't feel good, then it's going to be harder for you to be motivated to do good things. You know what I'm saying? If you feel great, if you're feeling on top of the world, if you're feeling phenomenal, if you're waking up, if you're waking up with level 1000 energy every single day, then it's going to be way easier for you to go out and pursue your goals. It's going to be way easier, easier for you to go out and evolve and do all these different things that are productive and conducive to your growth as a spirit as a being to your evolution as a spirit because that's the entire point of this entire existence is it not to evolve as a being to evolve as a spirit to evolve as a soul evolve on a soul level because we understand that this body this physical reality is simply just some type of hologram this is some type of illusion illusion that the mind is putting on this body that you find yourself in this isn't even real this isn't even real. This is just a, a shell, an illusion, an illusion of a shell that you that you find yourself placed in. Because in reality, the reality of things is that you are eternal, immortal. There is no beginning or end to what you are, to what we are. That's a very interesting thing and kind of difficult thing to grasp and put your mind, wrap your mind around, but. It seems to be that this is the truth, the absolute truth of reality and of existence itself. You know? 
But that's how you identify how a per if a person is living in hell or not. You feel what I'm saying? And another thing you have to understand as well, when you are around a person who is living in hell, who is live who has hellish way of thinking, hellish way of feeling, hellish actions, all these three di all these three things, this pyramid, this triangle that they have is the house or the house decides to their prison cell that they find themselves in when you are around a person like this understand that a person who is in hell and a person who is in the same applies to a person who is in heaven the same rules apply to a person who is in hell and a person who is in heaven hell or heaven it doesn't matter Whatever your state of being is, you are, you will consciously, and if not consciously, then you will subconsciously or unconsciously try to put other people into that state of being by your presence, by your, by simply just by your being. For example, what I mean by this, if you're feeling all tired and sluggish, you feeling all tired and sluggish and you're not really feeling too energetic, you're feeling down. And then you go to the register, you go to Starbucks or something, and you get a coffee or whatever, I don't know, whatever. And you go to the register, you're not really feeling as energetic. And you you just like, you're just like, yeah, uh, can I just get the number one? And then you start yawning, whatever, and all that different stuff and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You, even though you not consciously saying, Yo, I'm. I feel tired as hell. You, you. I want you to feel tired too, even though you're not consciously saying that. And that they may not be your intentions to try and put. You know what? Let me put. A, let me get a better example. Say you a personal trainer and you were just super energetic. You were super healthy and whatever and all that. And your energy just through the roof. And you, your know, when your clients comes in and yo and you coming at the client with that high energy. Right. You may. You may or may not consciously intend to. Put your client, put that person into that high energy. But subconsciously and unconsciously, that is what you're doing. You're expressing, you're expressing and putting that energy onto this other person. You feel me? You have an energetic intercourse with everything that you that you find in your life. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by you unconsciously and subconsciously be putting your putting this certain way of being way of thinking and whatnot onto other people so this person who's in this hellish state they'll do this same thing they'll put their own feelings and emotions and their temperament their mood onto others you know maybe consciously maybe unconsciously or subconsciously they'll do this you must understand you must protect your energy from these type of people you must protect your energy from this because if you allow the prison cell of another person the thought the prison cell thought forms feelings or actions of another person to influence you influence your energy your energy your energetic field break through your energetic field get into your get into your castle get into your pyramid get into your pyramid your building you feel me which is your thoughts your feelings your actions be able to influence your thoughts feelings and actions the different walls to your pyramid then you're gonna what you're gonna find is what you're gonna find is you'll probably start thinking like some they'll say the person will say something to you and then an hour later two hours later you're not even with them no more you'll you'll be thinking about what they said and just be like damn like is this true damn all this different stuff man i hate that i hate that they be like this all this different like i hate damn they keep doing this man it's so annoying that's so frustrating oh my god bro i can't stand this person i can't stand this is and that understand that this energy that these people have that this person has they're through their expression through their just being around you they're putting they're unconsciously putting this energy onto you so you must be able to be conscious enough to not allow this to influence you you feel me and be able to mean and protect your energy long story short that's all i got for y'all now man how to tell somebody in a hellish state 
I'm Jay Benz the Light, and I'm out. Peace to the dogs.